So this is about the latest thing that is happening in this area, and it is called Network Function Virtualization, NFV. This started basically last November, so it is not, it's only one year old. So in this lecture, we will talk about what is NFV, how it relates to SDN, and what are the specifications that have been developed. So NFV actually has four innovations. First, it is a software implementation. Second thing, it is modular. Third thing, it is virtual. And fourth thing, it is standard. All right, actually, I have one or two. Actually, I'm going to discuss each of these four things in a, the next slide. So first thing people realized when they started discussing SDN, and SDN actually itself, they are talking about that, look, once we have SDN and once we have open flow, then you won't need any specialized hardware. You can do all your thing on, in a standard PC. So that kind of caught on. And some carriers got together and said, oh, yeah, right, why, why do we need why do we need the standard? Why do we need any specialized hardware? We can just do everything in the software. So, so, so the idea is that why don't we implement routers, firewalls, broadband access server, anything, you know, on the on a standard PC. And this is called white box implementation. Okay? A new term, white box. White box simply means that it is unlabeled, you know, doesn't matter, you know, it, where you buy it from. You could buy it from any company and you can just put the software on it. And so that will be that will make it very cheap, right? Second thing is we don't want to put the whole big thing, so we want to put pieces together. That each piece, which is a module, has a well-defined API so that other people can use that API. Remember that OSGI kind of thing? So that is catching on as well. So you have modules like DSCP module, and NAT module, rate limiting module, deep packet inspection, or you could have a base station where you have LTE base station, 3G base station, 2G base station. So of course there is some hardware required for these base stations, but most of the software can be put in a white box. Okay. Similarly, on the residential gateways, you know you could have many things which can run on the white box. The third idea was that everything should be a virtual appliance, right? So you don't need one box for each of these things. You could just run multiple things into one box. And then, so you get all the advantages of virtualization, which means chip provisioning, scaling, multi mobility, reduced capex, reduced apex, everything else. If you need thousands of something, you can just create them in an in, in instant. And um, so that's, that was the third idea. The fourth idea is, of course, if you are going to have all these things, these appliances, then we need to be able to talk to each other. So, so basically, a new industry specification group, ISG was set up in SP, European Telecom Standards Institute, SP. So basically, as you can see, this looks like more coming from the European because we have similar organization in the United States, AP, American Telecom Standard something, something. Um, but uh, instead of that, it is starting in SP. And um, and it, the first meeting was in November 2012, so you can see that it's just one year old. But this idea, just like what is happening nowadays, industry is moving so fast that before you can do one, people come up with a better idea. So we started with open flow, and that open flow gave the idea of SDN, and then suddenly uh, people said, well, SDN is better, let's do SDN, and let's do everything, and, and so open flow got into the background. Now the SDN gave the idea of NFV, and um, so now people are going to do NFV, and SDN is getting into the background. So first of all, why do we need NFV? And the question is, what is it that the carriers want? They want virtualization so that they can use the resource any place, any time, anything, so on and so forth. They need orchestration so that they can control a lot of devices. They need programmability. They need dynamic scaling. They need automation so that everything can be done automated so they don't have OPEX. They need visibility into these things. They need the high performance. They need multi tenancy service integration, and openness. These 10 points are exactly the same that we talked about in the previous module on SDN. 
So the reason we needed SBN is these 10 reasons and now NFB actually kind of promises to do something similar. And uh, so it is basically the exactly the same thing, right? So, so what is the relationship? The, trans, the NFB originated from SBN. Okay? I mean, if SBN would not have happened, NFB would not have happened. All right? And then the first, in November, they thought they're going to extend SBN and they drew a diagram in which NFB and SBN had overlapped. But then last month, they rewrote that paper and in that paper, they removed that diagram. So it should be clear, even though it was removed, and but basically the idea was to clarify that really it doesn't depend upon SBN. So NFB and SBN are complementary. So NFB and SBN are complementary, and one does not depend upon the other, so you can do either or both. So you can do SBN only, don't do NFB. You can do NFB only, and don't do SBN, uh, or you can do both. All right, both have similar goals, but the approaches are very different. SVN needs new interfaces, new control module, new applications. NFB requires moving the network applications from dedicated hardware to white boxes. That is much easier job. Okay, so NFB is present, SVN is the future. This is really interesting. SVN came first, NFB came later, but NFB can be done now. SVN needs more work. So virtualization um, alone provides many of the required features, and so there's not much debate about NFB. While there's so much debate about SBN, NFB is kind of a united view in the sense that all we need to do is create virtual appliances for everything. And like there's a whole list of functions that can be virtualized. You can virtualize switches. You can virtualize routers. You can virtualize home location registers. Now, there are these names that you may not have heard because we have not taken any course on wireless network. So these will, some of these might be covered in the next semester when we do the wireless network. But these are all related to mobile networking. Mobile networking means cellular networking. So right now, we just, I'm just going to give you the list here. You don't have to really remember or memorize anything, but just in case you already know some of these, then you know that. There is SGSN, CGSN, ZGSN, RNC, SGW. There's a whole list of things that people want to people want to put into a virtual appliance. So the the thing is, the question is that um, one of the goals is a performance, but how can a virtual machine perform better than a physical machine on a special hardware? The answer is that virtual machines have the advantage of scalability. You don't have to have two, I mean, it doesn't really cost too much to have two virtual machines compared to one virtual machine. Whereas if you have to they have two physical hardware, if you have to buy two routers, that would be real money. And so the performance is obtained by scalability. Is that uh, you can have many of these and you can scale as you need changes, you can downscale as you need changes, so that's the advantage of performance here. So let's talk about what is happening in NFB area. NFB has an ISG, which is the industry specification group. So basically a number of carriers, about 100 or so, have gotten together. And uh, so uh, obviously, and so there is a network operator council. Network operator means ISP, the carriers. And then, then the ISG has many committees. Four committees are working on four different issues. INF, MANO, SWA, FWA, and REL. INF is working on the architecture. MANO is working on the management and orchestration. SWA is working on the software architecture. REL is working on the reliability. Then there are two expert groups, you know, which are actually in the next slide which are working on security and performance and portability. All right, so right now this work just, as I said, it started, but then all they need to do is take some of the existing stuff and put it together so that things can start working together, right? And so they have come up already in the last um, one year. Actually, these things just came out last month. So in the last one year, they were done, and then they came up with five specifications which you can download from the website, which is actually, I put the URL everywhere here. So the five specifications are available. Anybody can download. 
anybody can download from um, from the FC website, and I'm going to go through them slowly and one by one. 